Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to talk about the progress that has been made lately within the PS3 emulation scene on Android. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video here on the channel highlighting a legit port of RPCS3 for Android. I believe it's important to know that this port is available because shortly before work began on this, we saw someone else claiming to be working on the same thing, except they chose to go down the selfish route and they put a bounty of $5,000 and then $2,000 before the code will be released as open source. So one of the original founders of RPCS3, a popular PS3 emulator for the PC, they began to dust off their keyboard and start working on a real port of this emulator for Android. When we first hear about work starting on an emulator, it's usually just an announcement and there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes that has to happen before actual builds are released to the public. But that has not been the case for RPCS3 on Android. Since I released that video highlighting Alpha 2, DH and a few other contributors have been working tirelessly on this port. There have been five new alpha releases since that video went live, and each one comes with a lot of new changes that increases both performance and fixes game compatibility issues that people have been reporting lately. So I want everyone to know about this specific port of RPCS3 on GitHub. It's currently being led by DH, again, one of the original founders of this emulator, and there is some legit work being done right now. You'll find the APK files for each of these releases, and you can download them for yourself on this GitHub page, which I'll have linked down below in the video description, as well as the pinned comment here so that it's easy for everyone to find. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done before RPCS3 for Android is anywhere near feature complete like its PC counterpart. For example, I'm hearing that actual PlayStation controllers are now working with this emulator, but other controllers have yet to be supported. So you'll need to play with the touchscreen overlay buttons if you don't have one of those controllers laying around. But I want to hear which PS3 games you are interested in playing on Android. I've heard talk about a few PlayStation exclusives that are highly requested by the community, but let me know what you are interested in. And please do not forget to give this video a like while also subscribing to the channel as well, because we're getting really close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone. 